Hello and welcome back to this week's trading vlog. So as usual, we will review the trades that we've played this week and see how our strategies perform. And after that, I'd like to share a new app with you guys that we've created. And it is a statistical arbitrage dashboard that connects to TWS and provides real-time analysis on our statistical arbitrage strategies. So let's get started. So in this Jupyter Notebook, we have exported the trades for the current month, September 2025. And again, here are our seven strategies that we are trading at the moment. So again, we have the statistical arbitrage of AMD against Nvidia, for example, Amazon against Walmart, and so on. So if you scroll down here, you can see that I have imported the trades.csv file, which is the interactive broker CSV statement and contains all the realized uh, PNL uh, on our trading account. So then after you know converting the CSV file, into this data frame you can then find the profit the volume the prices and so on they were going to use for the data analysis so now if we scroll a bit lower so over the period we have made a profit of 3473 usd and traded a vo total volume of 1.78 million us dollars and in total we've paid over 100 euro in commissions during this period so what you can see in here is that, uh, yeah, so we have the profit by date. And last week, you know, we have shown you the profit on uh, NVIDIA versus AMD, where we made 1,726. So this week, uh, we've made a nice profit, 1,148. But then you see our first big loss that we have made. So yesterday was our biggest loss so far on our research account. We have lost 1,467 euro. And down here, we have the cumulative profit curve of our strategy so far. So now the question is, uh, how did this loss happen? And if it is within our tolerance, right? So if we scroll down here and we look at the performance by strategy. So what you see here, for example, is that the most money we've made here on AMD versus NVIDIA. And yesterday, we made a big loss on BHP versus FCX. So if we scroll down here, we can also find the total uh, performance or results by strategy. So again, AMD and NVIDIA is currently the best performer and BHP versus FCX is the worst performer because of yesterday's incident. I've done some research on Yahoo Finance about the company Freeport McMoran or FCX. And if you don't know, this month they had a fatal mud rush in Indonesia on one of their mining sites. And unfortunately, uh, two people died and many were left injured uh, on the mining site. And so the company published a statement about this incident. And due to this uh, natural disaster, the production of copper and gold also seems to be lower than expected. And as a result, if you see, it's also here in the trend tickers, the company fell by 16.95%. As a result, the spread between BHP and FCX increased from about 16 to 24. Our strategy went short when this blue line crossed the upper band, and then we decided to close the position in a loss when it reached that level. So now you might ask, what are the reasons why I disabled the strategy on BHP versus FCX? So first of all, when natural disasters happen, uh, and it only affects this one stock in particular, then the co-integration between those two stocks most likely is no longer there. So overall, the statistical arbitrage strategy most likely does not work during these events. And also the second reason is that when natural disasters happen, there is also like this ethical question, should you trade or speculate on bad things happening? So for those two reasons, I disable the strategy and right now we will be trading only six strategies from now on. And in the meantime, I will try to replace the BHP versus FCA strategy with a different one, but I think I'll provide an update on that next week. Before we finish up the topic between BHP and FCX, I just wanted to show you the backtest and show you exactly why we deployed the strategy in first place and then why we decided to remove it. So in this backtest, we, we are exporting the historical OHLC data on BHP and FCX. So down here in this data frame, you see the historical prices. And if you already know the process of backtesting statistic arbitrage strategies, so first of all, we need to extract the historical data. 
And then step number two, we apply this linear regression to find the relationship between those two pairs. So we find that thanks to our linear regression, uh, the, the stocks move in a ratio of 47.19. And if you compute the spread down here, so the spread is the open price one minus open price two times the ratio. In this case, open one is BHP price and open two is FCX price. And so what we see here is we see the spread uh, on this price chart here. And here in the last part, you see how the stock reacted during this incident. So from the spread being very, you know, zigzag up and down, this move is actually very volatile and one directional. So here we can also see the prices plotted next to each other. And here we can see that open to adjusted represents the FCX price, which drops down here. So now if we scroll a bit lower here, we'll find some uh, ADF test on the stationarity. And so down here, I just wanted to show you the PL curve of the strategy. Uh, let me just review the, the Bollinger period because when we back the strategy, we use the Bollinger period of 40. So let me rerun the back test. And so you see that uh, this strategy made a very nice profit in the beginning with a small drawdown starting later during this year, which you can find during this part. And especially because we now have this spike that caused a big loss. This, by the way, also not yet included inside this backtest. Uh, I've decided to disable the strategy. So now let's talk about our new dashboard app. So as you can see here, you can find our interactive brokers account with current positions running. And so the biggest problem is that when we trade stati statistical arbitrage, it is always annoying to, let's say, we are hedging PAAS against WPM. So right now, PAAS is in a profit of 917 euro and WPM is minus 663. So in your head, you know that we are roughly 200, 300 euro in profit, but I would like to have that like nicely visualized or have everything nicely in a table. So for, for that reason, we have created a new statistical arbitrage dashboard that looks something like this. So on this dashboard, you see WPM against PAAS. And so right now the unrealized PL is 329 euro. So this app, what it does is it takes the data from our TWS platform using TWS API and generates this nice dashboard. So it just takes the individual PL of both positions and sums it up. And another nice thing is that it is able to generate this nice spread chart. So we know exactly when the strategy should enter or exit. And then you also have this total overview where we are uh, summing up all the realized and unrealized PL of individual strategies and plots our current PL here. So right now the sum of all positions now currently reflects a uh, unrealized PNL of minus 563. So for example, if you want to, let's say, check the spread between Hilton and Marriott, which is HLT against Mar, we can click on this line here, and then it will generate a new spread chart that reflects Hilton and Marriott spread. So you can do it for every symbol here. And if you want any more detailed data, you can then look at the boxes here, such as the current basis or spread. And it also allows you, for example, to export the historical basis data for more analysis. So thank you for joining today's trading vlog. And as you can see, even though we've had a good run so far, losses will eventually come. And it is important to note that there is always some risk associated with our strategies. So before we wrap it up, I'd like to provide some quick updates to my research members. So right now my projects are to finish up the dashboard so you guys can use it on your end as well. And next month I will try to release a new course that will be statistical arbitrage on the TWS platform. So in that course, uh, we will move away from MetaTrader 5 and I will show you exactly how I'm trading my strategies on TWS. So thank you for your support and I'll see you in the next trading vlog.